What's up guys, welcome back. As always, don't forget to tap like and hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more of these videos. Now, today I'm gonna to show you how I use my iPhone here to control my Raspberry Pi Magic Mirror. It's that easy. We're back. Bright, here we go. Much better. Okay, today I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about uh, the Magic Mirror. If you don't know what the Magic Mirror is, it looks like this. Uh, it's basically a Raspberry Pi powered smart mirror. Now, Raspberry Pi is a tiny credit card sized computer that you connect to a computer monitor and then you lay over like a two-way mirror and it looks as if uh, the text and the digital information and everything is kind of like floating in the mirror. I probably posted five or six of these videos on YouTube with really good reception, a lot of views, and then every single time I post a video, uh, I get a question that says, what app are you using to control the mirror? So usually I like respond, I give them the link of, of the app that I use, and I only quote it app because it's not really an app. It's actually a web application that somebody designed. Now to show you what it looks like, uh, this is my iPhone here. I'm gonna pop it up on the screen so you kinda get like a bigger view. But to show you up close, you have like my iPhone right here, and this third app here is called the Magic Mirror Remote. Now, all I've done is go to Safari, which is the browser on the iPhone, and I bookmarked this web application to my iPhone. So it looks like it's one of these widgets, it looks like one of these applications, um, but in reality, it's just connecting to, um, to a web application. And the way that I do that is I have my IP address with whatever port that I'm connecting to, and then I go to the web page, which is just an HTML web page that sort of acts as the web application. So again, here it is. If I pop it open, there it is. And it'll pop up here on the screen, you can see uh, at a bigger view. But I just wanted to show you this because like I said, a lot of people have, a lot of, have had questions about how I control the mirror, or what app I use, and what I do. And so again, basically all I did was I took uh, the link in the comments, which is down below, which is the Magic Mirror remote link. And I went to Safari, I saved it as an icon on my iPhone, and then now I can control the mirror basically just through my iPhone. So if you can see right here, um, just to show you that this is like a live view, um, if I wanted to go to like edit view, you'd be able to change the different apps that you have right now. I don't know if you can see very well. But at the top, I have like uh, Google Photos, my weather, clock, calendar, compliments. We're gonna go over to the mirror in a second and I'll show you how this thing works live. But I just wanted to pop in and say that um, this is the app that I use in order to control my magic mirror. Okay, so this is my mirror. It's a little out of focus. There we go. I don't know if you can see it. So I've done a bunch of videos. I've kind of like walked people through it so I won't spend a lot of time doing it here. Um, but you can see that I have a calendar and a clock up here. Right here is the weather. It's a three-day outlook, so right now it's Saturday. So we have today, Saturday, and then Sunday and Monday. Uh, gives you a little like brief uh, written description about the weather is going to be like. So this is New York City today. Scattered clouds tomorrow. Thunderstorm with rain. So that's nice. It kind of gives you like a little snippet for what the weather is going to be like for the day. Truly, every day when Jamie and I walk out of the house, we look at the mirror to find out what the weather is going to be. We don't even like look at our apps on our phone anymore because it's right up here. Um, then I usually have like some inspirational quotes. This one here says subscribe below, so don't forget to do that. And at the bottom left hand corner, you can see it says Spotify. So that's just telling you that my Spotify app is like ready to go. And as soon as I pop it open, uh, you'll actually see the Spotify app function. So just to show you like a real quick proof of concept, just open my Spotify. And it's playing out of my phone, but now it has the album art and some of the other information there, like the title of the songs, your playtime, and all that. But what I really wanted to show you was the Magic Mirror remote. So like I said, this is the Magic Mirror right here. This is my iPhone. This is how I control the Magic Mirror. So if you pop open the app, and I'll put this up on the screen so you can see it a little bit better, you can see that these are the different functions that I have in order to control my Magic Mirror. I showed you before that you can access the config file if you want to change some of the modules that are in here. So again, this is just one big like JavaScript file um, that you add and subtract modules from. So I have a ton of modules written into my config file right now, but I've sort of hidden a lot of them because I don't want them all working at the same time. The basic package I have right now is, like I said, I have Spotify. So if I close the app, this is my favorite thing. You can see that Spotify is gone. So just to show you one of the functions that the remote kind of has for you is right now I'm just showing you the basic package of my Magic Mirror, but generally when we're here during the day, I like to have 
the mirror act as like one of those digital photo albums that kind of cycles through photos at a certain period of time. So you can see we have right up here on my phone, you can reveal different modules and I just reveal the Google Photos module and we have pictures, if you can see, cycling through. And this is just a regular Google Photos album that we have up on the internet so Jamie or I can add photos and wherever we add them, they just refresh and they're added up here. So I think that that's really cool. But what I'm trying to get, to get at is the benefit of having this remote is that you can you can have as many modules as you want written into your configuration file, but with the app here, or the like web application, you can hide any of the, one of the modules that you want. Now, if you're a coder, you can go in to the command line and you can hide it yourself via code, you know, like slash asterisk, but this web application right here makes it so much easier because you kind of just like flip open your phone, you turn things on that you want, turn off things that you don't want to be there. So I think it's super convenient. This remote is really well made. It's very basic. It doesn't have a lot, I keep showing you this, but I, it doesn't have a lot of like frills. Um, clearly whoever wrote it wrote like a really robust, really simple code. So it allows you to manipulate your mirror really quickly without having to go into the code. So again, like I can hide this when we leave. If uh, the Raspberry Pi is overheating or the monitor is overheating, you can add or hide some of the modules. So what's cool about this is you can hide everything all at one time. So if you decide you want to save power, you're going on vacation, you're leaving for the day, the whole thing shuts off and it basically just uh, powers down the web page. But just as easily as I've closed it, boom, you could pop it all open again and we're controlling the mirror live. Um, right here from the iPhone. So again, this is not an actual application on your phone. Rather, I bookmarked a web page, which is just whatever the page is, HTML, and I'm logging in, um, I guess you can call it like a web application, and that's how I'm controlling this. So I just wanted to give you guys a brief walkthrough about how this remote works, because I use it in so many of my videos, and like I said, so many people comment about, you know, where do I get the remote? How do I use it? And I just wanted to show you, it's a basic function, it's really well built, so again, I'll put the creator down in the comment section. And uh, as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, tap like, if you wanna see more of these videos in the future. And uh, I'll see you guys next Sunday.